On the top left, we got Namcat playing orange as the English favorite color, favorite sieve. I think they decided not to ban anything for this set, so there you go. Swilly on the bottom right, pink English. We have an English mirror matchup here. And we are on ancient spires. As you can see from all the spires around the map, look a little ancient as well. Yeah, Namcap here definitely very comfortable in English. It's his main sieve. He's probably the best English player uh, that I know, at least. He's very practiced on his build orders. Um, Swilly, though, also an English enjoyer, so definitely, definitely probably his favorite sieve, actually, if I had to guess. Probably most played that or French. Yep. He's, he's dabbled in Holy Roman Empire too, I think, but I'm, I don't know, I might be wrong on that. Two house drop again at the start for Swilly. So we have pretty, uh, pretty standard start. And then what is this map? Is this Ancient Spires, I believe? Ancient Spires. So, you know, I'm always kind of vaguely hopeful that I see, like, uh, you know, a little dock action or a little mill a by dock water. Dock or mill. Yeah, you know, it, it doesn't happen every time. You can't blame, you can't blame him for that. Right now, Namcap gonna have the most practiced English build order. So if you want to, if you want to learn a little thing or two about that, keep an eye on his build count as we go here. Two house AOE two move. I kind of was wondering that, but I know Swilly didn't play much AOE two. At least not recently, he hasn't. So maybe that's why he does it though. Like maybe he saw an age two build order at some point. That's what you do in age two every time. Yeah, I'd be curious. I know one thing they recently did to this map is they moved the uh, one of the water pools closer to your town center. Mm. And that way you can always see the water from your town center. And that way you know which way to walk if you want to get to your fish. So, that's true. I would love to I see love fishing. Um, but that's, that is something they recently changed because players were complaining that they couldn't find their water in time. <laughs> huh. uh, okay. Because some players will open mill on the water because fish are the fastest uh, yeah. gathering food source in the game. You can get really, real slingshotted straight up to the next stage if you go on that shore fish. As a Mongol enjoyer, I definitely do appreciate that. Uh, that change. <laughs> Just drop that starting gear right on the water. Easy. Uh-oh. Nightcap's out of sheep here. It's a little out of sheep. A few yep. idle not able to fit around that one. One remaining. And we're back. And we're back. Cut, Cutting it close there, Namcap. Yeah, just like taking a break in between chops. He's a little bit of a lazy worker. You don't want to delete this guy, Swilly. Get him out of here. Want that kind of guy in your workforce? <laughs> I am. I'm that kind of guy. Don't delete me. Anyways, uh, council hall for Namcap. Or no proxy for this is a little bit concerning in a regular match, but we'll see how this goes. No proxy council hall. He's not this game. <laughs> Overall, probably a decent spot. You're, you're right that it's it's attackable without the town center defending it, so a little vulnerable, but... I guess it depends which side the longbow pops out of. I think they've changed it so that it comes out whichever side you rally to. Maybe I heard that, but it might be fine here. I feel like it does, but I've also had a weird issue where my villagers would pop out of my TC on the wrong side and walk around to get to the sheep, and that was really frustrating. Huh. And, and I don't know why that happens. Yeah. The other side, Swilly taking it, taking it slower, hanging out. Same build count. Swilly has been of the like somewhat lower like level players that we've seen. I think I can say that without insulting anybody. He's been uh, very consistent on the villager production, at least up to a point. He's really good early game, keeping that TC working. I, uh, I definitely appreciate that. Yeah, that's probably the biggest thing new players can do to improve their game is just keep the town center queue full like keep making villagers because the worst thing that can happen is you know you don't you don't make you military units and then you, you lose but at the same time you at least are going to have a lot of resources and what's going to happen is eventually you'll notice hey i have a lot of resources i can start making some <laughs> uh some military units and then you start making military and then you start winning your game so yeah yeah i mean uh it's really tends to peter out, I feel like, around 40 to 60 vils, but at least at the beginning, he's, he's a little bit better than some at that. Now, got that council hall mirror. Mirror matches are real interesting in this game. I feel like any advantage you get has an outsize effect, uh, just because the other sieve has you know, the same toolkit as you, so 
Certainly. There's no, oh, if I only get to X moment, then I'll win. Because <laughs> your opponent can just get that first because they have a lead. <laughs> Interesting uh, corner farm on this mill. Just barely getting it in that area of effect. Not bad. That's a little optimization. That way the villager gets the, the oh, increased he... gather rate, but also drops at the town center. Yeah, okay. I like that. There we go. And you can actually drop 10, 10 far, or, uh, farms on a mill like this if you space it right. Yep. You can't shift click it, but it's kind of a pro strat. So that, that just uh, shows the kind of the difference between like the like perfectly placed mills and just normally placed mills. You can get just that little bit of extra efficiency if you place your mills. True. If you're willing to or take up farms. the APM on it, then uh, yep. it could pay off later on. Okay, both players producing some longbows. Namcap almost on five now and rallying immediately across to this uh, to this little stealth forest. Good plays. I think this is a pretty pretty optimal ram push. Maybe uh, maybe just longbow push. Just a little safe spot to start from there. I wonder if you're harassing English, do you focus? Like, the wood line's pretty hard to, to poke down, to harass. And the food tends to be underneath your town center with farms. And your gold isn't that important, because... Yeah, I mean, I think don't you focus it. food if you can. This one is kind of okay. You don't want to get too far up in there, but... Um, I don't know, yeah, it's interesting what you uh, should focus on per, per sieve, right? Because, like... Right, because it know, changes. HRE, definitely gold. French, yep. definitely gold. Yep. Abbasid, stone or wood, you know. Yep. Kind of interesting. Roos, probably focus on, well, wood. Get a deny food, but can. then also. Yeah. Yeah. But they're going to have that. And then also wood. Wooden fortress out there, probably. Yep. A little tough. It's, it's Willie going on that stone. I'm wondering if that's just because it's the only thing he can take. Or if he's planning on anything special with that. Maybe a tower with upgrades in the future here. One little tip for English is you don't typically need to go second town center because your age three landmark is a town center. True. So that's definitely something a that you can that. do. Look at all the sheep by that uh, for Namcap here. <laughs> at nine still left under the TC. Mm, I like this tower from Namcap. He's going to get that extra attack speed bonus. Harvest rate plus 30%. Does that show on the villager? No, it shows on the farm. See the plus? Yep. So plus 30%. What's, does, okay, I'm just like trying to see if we can like figure out which one of these has the faster gather rate. It's probably the farm over the sheep, right? I actually don't know. I assume they're about the same. Yeah, that tower is going to be great for... It's like forward base, kind of setting up a trenched in position here. Ooh, that's an ability you don't see often. <laughs> oh, and you have to What's research that too. Set up camp or? Uh, set up yep. camp. Here we go. Wait, wait, stay on there. Left click. Have a long moment set up camp. You generate health over time. Can't do this in combat, I believe. You just have to uh, hide in the shadows and heal up a little bit. That's kind of neat. Longbows have some interesting uh, mechanics. They're palings too. Yep. And I think this is just going to be a longbow number game. Amcap definitely going to take that. Yeah. One one little trick in this matchup is you can actually go age one man at arms because it's a mm. special bonus that English gets, and you can use those to counter the longbows. But it's like no players can go for that. That's true. Swilly here. If he did go, Man at Arms would have definitely pretty, a little bit more of a, of a better fighting chance. Longbows do a little bit more damage to armored units than regular archers, but if you get enough Man at Arms out, that'd be a, that'd be a solid move. I think it's better than just trying to counter with your own archers at that point. That council <laughs> hall keeps on going. Siege engineering coming through. Second right, upgrade research past balance projectiles. He wants to end right now. And building a barracks out here. Oh, maybe? Yeah, we're going to see man-at-arms? <laughs> might see some early man-at-arms. Some boy-at-arms. They're plastic swords. <laughs> boy-at-arms. <laughs> <laughs> and Swilly just uh, feels like he can't do anything other than chop this wood right now. Yeah, I think 
if he went to the lake to get fish, that would really help his food out, but uh, maybe he doesn't. Maybe he hasn't noticed, hasn't thought of it. And pulling Vils. Short bows. The fight of the century now. English oh, village is definitely not bad. I mean, this. Uh, it depends on the reinforcements, I think. And also, does this guy have loom? Or weaving, or whatever, textiles? The answer is no. So I think this is going to be the longbows taking it. <laughs> yep, you think so. Yeah. <laughs> but good effort there. Good, like, uh, Ouch. panic effort. 14 to 35 bills now, though. You pretty much have gone all in on that, and uh, if it doesn't work, the game is over. Ouch, yeah, that's, they might that hurts to watch. <laughs> they might. Cool. Ouch, though. <laughs> yeah. And uh, on the other side, we have longbows and early man at arms. Come there, they there they are. You heard me. <laughs> oh, nope. Uh -oh. Nope. All bills down. We got one left. Where is he? Two left. Are they idle? I oh, I think he's still fighting, right? Yep, the last one just died. Oh, you're right. Me. Well, we made one more. <laughs> <laughs> he's moving out. I think with that, it's probably game. Probably game at this point. Take out the sheep. Not in an optimal position. Just in case Swilly wants to take those later. Goes the last bill again. And we have another one. Does he have food for this? I think it's just banked up. Thanks. Or was banked up. Okay, going for that ram. The other side. MCAP just keeping up with that. Production. I feel like Namcap has well earned this uh, this matchup right now. He's, he he had to he had to suffer through his previous game <laughs> set versus uh, versus you, and I'm, I'm yeah. happy to see that he gets he just gets to have a little fun here. I mean that was that was a pretty good match. I think I, they were they I enjoyed were. that one v one. Yeah, they were good matches, but they were also a little painful at the end. Of <laughs> I think both of them ended in knights diving villagers, so... <laughs> yeah. Namcap has proven himself, though, in in a few other matchups here. Versus, uh, previously... I forget. Popping it. Yeah, I almost wish there was, like, a group stage in this tournament where you could, like... I think we, we might have to get a Namcap versus... <laughs> Versus controversy game. Yeah, the people yeah, demand. yeah. I, uh, I do. De I like. I will gladly demand that with the people. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see that matchup. Yeah, I think those are pretty evenly matched. Here, there. We'll see. Early man at arms still. Can you upgrade these to like? This is just the dark age version. Right? It's the dark age version, right? I think there's an upgrade. Vanguard? Okay, so they do get upgraded to the Feudal Age version if you want to, yep. and then they go up from there. Alright, makes yep. sense. Actually, wait, that upgrade had three dots on it. Does that mean it's the Age 3 version? Was it locked? So this is... There's four dots here. So there's two... There's one out of four, but then look at the upgrade. It has three dots on the upgrade below. So well, this one? Yeah, hey, why does that upgrade have three dots? That's interesting. Wait. And why is the requirement Castle Age? For upgrade to, Oh, well, I guess we'll have to find out in another <laughs> game because this one... This one is over.